Okay, so many times in practice, uh, we have data sets that are extremely large. And to make things more simpler, as far as analysis goes, a lot of times we'll take random samples of the data set uh, that will suffice enough for us to run our analyses. So that's what we're going to do here. <clears throat> so we're going to use the uh, random sample task. And this can be found down here in the, the uh, task menu. Or we can use the task drop down menu up here, the data menu and then random sample, or we can also use the data menu drop-down uh, menu over here. <clears throat> so I'll use this one. So we'll go to random sample, and then we go to, we want to do a sample size for this exercise of 100 <clears throat> samples. So we have this large sample size, and we just want a smaller subset of it of 100 random samples. And we're going to do this, we're going to take a, a proportional a stratified random sample by country. So country will be our strata variable. So click country, we can drag it over. <clears throat> and we make sure this is uh, checked, mark, uh, checked down here, match sample to strata proportions. This will make sure that we have a proportionate uh, a random sample. So we click OK, and we're going to use a random seed number of... 10 <clears throat> and this integer 10 it could be any integer but each integer you use will give you a unique sequence of random numbers technically these really aren't random numbers because we are using an algorithm to <clears throat> to create these these sequences uh, so they're pretty much pseudo random numbers but so if i choose 10 i'll have a unique set of random numbers that will keep that that it will be reproduced every time i use 10 if i use 7 same thing for that for 7 if i use 8 whatever number i want to use so we click OK, and we're doing a simple <clears throat> sample method, so no duplicates, and we go ahead and run it. OK, so this is our output now. And so we can see that we have <clears throat> A total of 100 random samples. Okay, so now let's do the exact same thing, but with a non-proportional stratified uh, random uh, sample. So we go back to our original data set, and we go to the data menu, random sample, and I'll keep that random one. Okay, so same thing, sample size of 100. Random C number, same thing, 10. <clears throat> we pick our strata variable again, which is going to be country. The difference here is we don't want them to be proportional, so we uncheck this box right here, click OK, then go to run. So since they're not proportional, now we have a uh, rather, rather larger uh, <clears throat> output. So you see we have two, 200 different observations here this time in this sample. Okay, so then now we now let's try uh, doing the same thing, except we're going to remove cases where uh, the country is Australia. So you notice we have the country variable here and it's Australia and the US. So basically we want a random sample that consists nothing or nothing nothing of but uh, US <coughs> countries. So we go back to our random or to our uh, original data set. Go back to data, random sample. Same thing, 100. Ten will be our uh, random number. A uh, random C number, rather. <clears throat> Strata variable again will be country, and this will be a proportionate sample. So we make sure that our the box down here match sample to strata proportions is checked off. Okay, <clears throat> and so now up here we have the task filter, so we can filter out anything we want from this data set. So in this case, we're going to remove the cases of of the Australia. Uh, uh, occurrences. <clears throat> so we go to our country variable. So we this for here we want to keep all the US stuff. So we'll go equal to and if we click this little 
box right here gives us our options. So we want to keep US. Click OK. And now we can go ahead and run it. Okay, so here's our random sample of 100. And notice that it's nothing but uh, the US country. And there are no occurrences of Australia uh, anywhere in our data set. And so these are just really quick, uh, simple ways of, of using the random sample test to kind of reduce the, the, uh, the quality, quantity of uh, your data set.